There's a misconception that TTL exposure means giving 100% control of your flash intensity to the camera. Let's talk about using flash exposure compensation to enhance your images. Don't confuse flash exposure compensation with exposure compensation, which is used in the camera's automatic and priority modes. The flash exposure compensation setting, or FEC, is unlocked when a TTL flash is attached to your camera. For example, when you're using an Eyclight DS strobe with a compatible DS-Link TTL converter. Flash comp only affects the brightness of the TTL flash, typically in one-third f-stop intervals. Unlike exposure comp, flash comp is accessible when the camera is in the manual exposure mode. I might dial it down to give a little more depth and moodiness to my macro photos, or dial it up to give a bigger pop of color on a wide angle reef scene. Since you're still in TTL, the camera will continue to reevaluate the flash metering with every shot. So if you're shooting close focus wide angle and a hammerhead swims by, your flash will adjust instantly. All cameras give you access to flash exposure compensation nested inside of the flash menu. But I recommend learning how to access it through one of the quick action menus so you can change it quickly and easily on the fly. On Canon, you can find it in the Q menu. On Sony, you can add it to the function menu. On Nikon, add it to the I menu. On OM system or Olympus cameras, add it to the super control panel. With our DS-Link converters, you can add the power of TTL with flash exposure compensation to a wide variety of camera systems.